poppin' T-Squad, it's your girl Keisha and I am back with a brand new all tea alt shade video. Well, Evelyn Lozada is back in the news, child. So, recently Joe Button brought her name up on his podcast. Take a listen to what Joe had to say. Minority here, but there is a such thing as victim bullying. Yeah, there is a such thing as victim bullying. What you mean? Victim well, bullying the victim is, is victim the bully? bullying. Yes. I believe that to be a thing when it happens. Oh, yeah, yeah that could happen. Uh, example could of what happen. I'm saying. Uh, the clip got cut off, but he used Evelyn as an example. Well, you know, Evelyn used this to have five seconds of fame. Um, so she took to her Instagram and posted this video on her live. Yeah. Hey, um so i know i've posted a lot this morning because i woke up very upset um and you know i just want to say that if you're going to use your platform to discuss domestic violence or bring up somebody's domestic violence incident i think that you need to be compassionate about all of the people that this has affected. I think you also need to know and understand that this could be very triggering for not only the victim, but my message got cut off. So what I was saying was, is that talking about somebody's domestic violence incident um, can be very triggering for not only the victim, but everyone. Um, So not only is it triggering for me, but I know it's very triggering. This is very triggering for all victims of domestic violence. And I just feel like if we're going to have these conversations, we need to have real conversations. Like, how do we heal from this? Why did we allow this person to treat me this way? How do we move forward? How do we you know heal our communities how do we come together what do we do um to teach our kids that domestic violence is wrong use your platform for good not to make light of something that is very very serious um anyway so i'm gonna go back into my cocoon you know i wish she would have actually gone back in her cocoon after that but her and Tahiri then linked up on IG story and went back and forth with their tales of domestic violence. Tahiri posted the photos of Evelyn after she was abused by her ex-husband, Chad Johnson, and she uh, tagged Evelyn and said, I'm so sorry, nobody should ever have to go through this. I'm shaking. He fractured my rib and punched me in the face. I don't have pictures, but I'm sure his other exes do. Talking about Joe Button. And then she put, let's not forget, at Joe Button should at the real Tahiri post hers. That's what Evelyn said to Joe. Then um, Evelyn put a a meme a picture up that says my life matters so i spoke up domestic violence survivor then she put i'm gonna keep screaming to the heavens no matter what another abuser has to say about my past abusive relationship then tahiri posted i've blocked this out for such a long time i've tricked my brain into ignoring all of it i attend therapy on a regular basis now it's hard to have to relive this every freaking time and the noise that comes with it so then on twitter somebody tweeted oh shit i see they're out to try to cancel ed joe button for the 100th time lol joe responded back they can't with a shrugging emoji then somebody else said i hate the way they chopped and screwed that video of at joe button but that's what the blogs do joe responded the blogs are political they have a job to do and so do i well, here are my thoughts on this whole situation. 
I will never negate or take away the fact that Evelyn was abused. She did not get the Harry Potter scar on her forehead from out of nowhere. But I also have stated this since the beginning. If you go back and look at any of my videos in the past, when it is concerned of basketball wise, I have always stated that I believe that she and Chad had a relationship where they were hitting each other. Does that make it okay? Absolutely not not at all make it okay. But I do believe that they had a relationship where she put her hands on him and he put his hands on her and that day it went too far. But my thing is with Evelyn is she likes to use um, this situation to suit her when it fits whatever situation or what narrative she wants to put out there. It's okay for her to wave the domestic violence flag when she wants sympathy or when she wants to, like I said, pop out and remind people that, hey, I'm alive, I'm still here, or when she wants to use it for a storyline on a television show. That's when she likes to go back to this incident and play the victim. But my thing is, you're also the same person that keeps in contact, well, used to keep in contact with Chad on the season of Basketball Wives that I last reviewed um, when you were on the show going up against OG. You were reaching out to him to clarify whether or not he was talking to OG and um, wanting him to dispute the fact that he ever talked to her in a romantic way. Why do you care if he is this abusive monster? What type of person would even be in contact with somebody that abused you in the way that you said that this man abused you? And this is where I don't agree with Evelyn and where I call bullshit. I call 100% bullshit let's not forget that interview maybe a few years after the incident where you and shawnee were doing an interview and they asked you if you were stuck on an island and needed somebody to save you or to help you or be stuck on an island with somebody who would you choose out of your exes and you chose chad but this person was so abusive towards you. So that's why I agree with, I don't even know the full clip of what Joe said, but if he did say that Evelyn was an in fact um, victim bully, I 100% agree with that because you like to use him abusing you when it suits you. And then the same thing goes for Tahiri. Tahiri likes to scream abuse, 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 but you the same person that was on a whole reality show that got back with this man that you said abused you, was fighting women over this man who abused you. Then you got your ass on marriage boot camp and abused Vado, and your ass should have been the one that was escorted out of the house when you threw a fucking apple at this man's face at full speed. So... Both of y'all need to have several seats and stop with the woe is me when it suits you. Because let me tell you something, somebody whoop my ass the way y'all saying y'all got y'all ass whoop, nigga wouldn't be able to breathe the same air I breathe, let alone me even try to be in a relationship or have communication with this person years later. So both of y'all need to have several goddamn seats. They both irk my fucking so there was no need for Evelyn to get on fucking social media with the fake tears and her nasally voice. What about my daughter? My daughter. This happened to me. And I'm a, a victim. My daughter. And I'm like, girl, sit down somewhere. Please. Please have freaking several. Let me know what you guys think about this story down below in the comment section. Make sure to thumbs up this video, like, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell button. I love you guys. And I will see you on the next video. Peace. No, you don't. I'm uh, sure you run into my fiance car. It's something different about him, and I know that he has a girl, but everything about him just says that he's supposed to be mine. Like, I can honestly feel it. Man, I see you out here doing big things, man. Being here with you is really, really making me happy. I feel the same way, too. When I get home, I got a lot to handle. No, you got a man. You have a whole fiance at home, remember? No! Girl, did he hit you? No! I already knew how this little thing between us was gonna end. Can I be cooped up in this dirty 
dingy ass motel room like this, bro. This right here, this is our reality. We got something special. I have to save myself. Don't touch me again, you know what's happening. Get out! Get out! All my life, I've been waiting for somebody to save me. I knew that it was gonna be you. Oh, I can't seem to let you go.